Hi, Cat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection. I'm going to demonstrate how I made this card using the Thoughtful Branches bundle. It's a beautiful hydrangea. We're going to go ahead and do some special um, uh, inking for the background and you're going to need a Big Shot. I'm going to be using the Thoughtful Branches stamp set and the Thinlets that come with this bundle. Now this is a special edition limited stamp set that Stamping Up is offering for the month of August. So this is um, a really nice stamp set because it not only offers you something kind of springy that I'm going to demonstrate today, but also has some really neat um, stamps that can take you into winter and into fall. So I, um, I really think this is a very versatile and a very good value um, for, your, for your money. So to make this card, you will need um, your base card at five and a half and four and a quarter using um, sweet sugar plum. Um, then it's going to be layered on pear pizzazz and you're also going to need some pear pizzazz to, um, to cut out the, the leaves for your hydrangea. And then you're going to need a whisper white piece of cardstock at five and three and three fourths. And we're going to use just a plain white uh, cutout of the flowered part of the hydrangea to do some um, neat uh, stamping in order to create our background. And lastly, um, uh, the seed pearls from the Stamping Up um, Pearl Collection and I'll be using Sweet Sugar Plum ink. So, there it is. I think that's everything. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my pieces here for my card. I have the piece that I've already cut out um, from the Thinlets using my Whisper White. So I'm going to put these pieces aside and I'm going to take my base, uh, uh, my white, uh, Whisper White piece, and I'm going to take my um, my cutout piece. I have a little sponger right here that I used for my last card that I'm going to go ahead and take my Sweet Sugar Plum ink and kind of ink it up a little bit and I'm just going to um, to lay it onto my white card and I'm just going to do some rubbing around the card. And I do like to go ahead and kind of go off the edges a little bit and get kind of the middle. And you kind of see that neat kind of effect it has. So I'm then going to lay it next and just kind of rub around um, kind of blotting a little bit to make sure that the color gets down between the pattern and if I have a little blank spot like something like right here I might lay the pattern down and just kind of holding it with my finger just kind of fill it in a little bit and I'm going to keep going around just laying it and it's going to be done rather gingerly but not with a lot of force because this is paper and it will tear after um, you know uh, after a while. If you want to do something like this uh, and have a pattern that you could make several cards out of, what I would recommend is to just take a piece of acetate and um, cut your pattern with acetate and then it will be a pattern that you can use uh, and reuse um, several times. 
but since I'm just going to do this card, I'm just going to kind of um, take this and you can see how nice that pattern is starting to come through. I have a little bit of, um, of white here in this corner right here, so I'm just going to lay my pattern over and I'm just very gingerly just going to just kind of hit that a little bit and you see I kind of filled that in. So I have really nice, nice background. And I think I'm going to like it more or less like this. Okay? And um, this really, if you look at this, this really isn't, that's really kind of pretty. I could even use that for another card. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this aside now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thinlet and I'm going to cut this part of my of my card and I'll be um, I'll be right back okay so what I wanted to show you is that I cut my hydrangea and I wanted to show you the layers that I use with the big shot I use a cover plate I have my thinlet my paper I have my um, precision plate and I lift this up I have my thin die adapter plate and my new Big Shot adapter, um, Big Shot platform, which has a shim built in, so you don't have to do any extra shimming when you're cutting your thinlets. So that is my layer for cutting for cutting this um, this thinlet. Now I'm going to put this aside. And I'm going to take my um, my uh, thinlet, which I have cut right here. You can see it's been cut through. I'm going to use my die brush, and I'm just simply going to put it on the platform and very gently roll. And there it just popped right out and just very gently roll a top of it and there all the little pieces have popped out it's that easy there's all my extra pieces I can just put them away and there is my my um, my hydrangea so I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my my stamp. Now I'm using the big, um, what block is this? It's an E block, I believe. I'm using a big E block and I have the stamp and it has a little tab for when you're um, stamping on the, uh, on your, um, on your cutout. And it's supposed to be straight up to match with the bottom of the of the hydrangea there's a little cutout area there okay so I'm going to just lay this down and I'm actually going to use my um, my uh, foam uh, pad and a piece of paper on top of it I'm going to go ahead and put my my die cut image uh, piece there and I will ink up oops I got an extra little piece of paper so I'm going to go ahead and ink up my image kind of see it's all inked up and I simply line it up very easily um, since this is photopolymer, I can see where everything lines up and it lines up perfectly. I'm going to press down. I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute so that that ink absorbs into my paper. It's going to stick and there it is. I have a 
beautiful image. And since I have my um, my stamp cleaner here, I'm going to make sure this is nice and damp because I'm going to clean my clean my my photopolymer stamp off. Okay. So now I'm going to um, take my image and I've already cut out my branch and my leaf set. There's a little piece that has to fall out there. And I'm going to take my green and I'm going to put this piece um, on top of that. That's how it's going to go layered. So I want my hydrangea to look um, like this. I'm going to I'm going to center my my flower and then these little branches fit very neatly under here whether you want them stuck farther up or or allow them to show a little bit. And you may have some extra stem that you can simply clip off that's going off your, your flower. So the way I'm going to put my flower on is I'm going to take my um, dimensionals and I'm going to have to cut some very small pieces and I'm using um, a dimensional uh, sheet that's already had a lot of the um, center pieces cut out. So I'm taking advantage of these little uh, pieces on the end. So I'm going to turn over my image and I'm just going to pick up my dimensionals and set them down. And there's plenty of room um, the way this stamp is set up for, for a, a good size, not a big dimensional, but a good size dimensional. If you can kind of see, there are good spaces to go ahead and put um, dimensionals to adhere your um, to adhere your uh, your hydrangea flower to your card and pop it up a little bit, which was act, which is which is very nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick um, some areas in the middle. I'm going to pick um, an area towards this edge just to make sure I have enough uh, coverage so that my flower doesn't sag in the middle and it's got some good support all the way around and probably one more up here and that seems that seems to work okay so I have good coverage on my dimensionals um, I might want to put one more at the top so I'm just going to clip a small one right here and put that over here at the top just to make sure I have I have that coverage and it's sticking to my finger instead of the paper so let me get that turned around there we go I think I got it now okay so I'm going to use my flower as the um, as the first piece that I'm, I'm going to put down on my on my card so let me try to pick up all these little pieces of backing on my dimensionals and I like to use my um, my exacto blade as the um, as my tool for pulling off um, these pieces primarily because I have um, my nails aren't quite I just don't have the um, the thin nail that I can that I can get underneath these uh, these pieces so I have to I have to resort to um, finding a tool. I think that's, let's see, that's this one. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure everything's kind of tacky and sticky. Okay, so I got everything off. 
and I'm going to go ahead and put this right about there okay all right you can see that it's popped up on the dimensionals and then I'm going to put some dimensionals on my on my um, branches and I'm using the same technique I'm just going to cut some of these uh, edges here and lay them down and you probably have to cut probably uh, or rather you will have to cut some pieces that are a little bit thinner than what you did for your flower because you're trying to work on this on this branch and what I did is I just stuck the dimensionals on the branch part and I'm going to use um, a glue for the side because it's just those are just it's just really small so watch how I do this I'm going to take off my backings if it will if it will work with me here it's not wanting to come okay there it is okay work with my backings all right so now I've got that. Then I'm going to just take a little bit of my um, snail adhesive and I'm just going to hit the corner. I'm going to just kind of hit the corner of my, the edges of my leaves. And you can kind of see where I've put some, some adhesive and even where some of these, these um, covers have, have uh, attached themselves. So then I'm going to slide this piece under where I want it, and I want it right about there. Okay, so I've got a little bit um, more stem coming off, which I'm just simply going to clip like that. And I have my whole hydrangea on the, um, on the piece. You can see that my branch is setting up and I just basically adhered my um, adhered my leaves so you can see the branch is set up on the dimensionals and I just simply adhered my leaves and that's fine so now I'm going to um, take my I'm going to take my uh, two-way two tape um, and lay down some two-way tape to put this on my on my uh, matting on my piz pear pizzazz uh, cardstock um, and just lift up my tape here uh, I like the two-way tape just simply because I think it's um, just as fast as using the fast fuse um, and it gives me a little bit more a little bit more control okay so I'm going to go ahead and place that there okay and now I'm going to place that on the back of my um, on my uh, sweet sugar plum now you can add a sentiment on the front of this on the front of this card. Um, I like to keep the front of my cards unless I really have something in mind, uh, very plain, and more or less designed for a, nor a note card, because I can always put the sentiment that I want on the inside based on uh, the need. Uh, again, unless I'm specifically designing a card for uh, sympathy or for a birthday. So what I like to show is simply the technique of how to put the card together and how to utilize the stamp set to, um, to create your front and then you can design from there how you want to, um, to put your sentiment. The last part of our card is going to be putting the little seed pearls on our um, 
on our card. As you can see here, I have little pearl seed pearls, and you can see how nice they show up and how plain this one is. So we're going to um, we're going to decorate this one now. Oops, I just dropped my my acrylic block, and I'm using these itty bitty ones right here. I mean, they're really hard to see, and there's not a whole lot of use for them, um, except in this case. And I'm just pick up a little piece with my um, exacto, and I'm just going to place them in strategic areas. I'm just going to spread them around. Um, I like to start in the center because that's where your eye naturally gravitates to. So I like to put a nice um, spread in the center of the flower to begin with. And And um, I don't really count how many I'm, I'm adding. It's more or less up to your, to your judgment. You can see how I've put them in the center, okay? So now I'm going to kind of work out a little bit, and I'm going to start putting them a little bit farther out from the center so that I will try to cover the entire flower. Um reaching all the way to the edges, but I'm not covering um, every single uh, flower center. And it just simply creates a very nice there. So I started out in the center and then I kind of work my way out and it provides a very nice very nice accent for your hydrangea so that's really that's really it um, besides putting together a sentiment in on the bottom um, this is the thoughtful branches stamp set using the um, the hydrangea and I hope that uh, you um, you like this. I think it's a really gorgeous. Uh, it's a gorgeous flower, and it has um, the stamp set has a lot of um, really uh, uh, versatile uses. So, Cat Chancellor Stamp Art Connection. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, please like my um, my video or give me some comments. Um, I'm really interested in what you think and um, what other kind of videos uh, you'd like to see. So, um, happy stamping and um, have, a great, have a great day. Bye.